Hi Taurus, welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you know or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, we are going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. So it could be anything. We're just going to take it as it comes. It could be love. It could be work, career, finance, whatever messages need to come out. That's what we're going to deliver. So hopefully this will resonate for you. Please only take it how it resonates for you. If it's not your story, if it's not resonating for you, then it's not for you. So please keep that in mind. It could be past, present, or future. So keep that in mind. Also, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It is a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is below. Tons of stuff in the description box. Please do go check that out. And uh, let's see what we have for you, Taurus. So hope everybody's well, staying healthy and safe at this time. All right. Taurus, Taurus, if you're new, welcome, welcome, and you can check out my channel, like what you see, uh, if you vibe, like my vibe, how I read, check it out, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff, hit the bell, you won't miss out, if you do, thank you so much, and if you do subscribe, you get about four or five readings a month, so, anyway, so let's see here, Taurus, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or a planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. And then with this deck here, we'll pull one for an opening message. We'll pull another for current energy, what's going on with you, Taurus, for some of you. And then we'll get into the tarot, and we'll clarify that energy. We'll see what your situation is. We'll look into your situation, advice, possible outcome, and I always go over the bottoms of the decks. And with this deck here, we'll get some closing messages at the end. So let's see what's going on for Taurus Collective, Someone Rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female. What is going on for Taurus at this time, Spirit, please? Sign, element, or planet. What is needed for Taurus? All right. Let's see what we have. We have a Leo. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo in some way, shape, or form. If not, totally fine. Maybe you have Leo in your chart. Know somebody who has heavy Leo in their chart, but if not, uh, that's totally fine. So the Leo does represent two cards in the major arcana. It represents the sun and strength. So the strength is about being courageous and brave and having willpower, determination, uh, taming the beast from within. And then the sun is like the happiest card in the deck. Happy home and family, enlightenment, healing, uh, success, victory, everything positive with the sun. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So you could be, you know, happy times coming up ahead, but needing strength uh, and courage through something, perhaps. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And Leo there is five. Five is about challenge and change. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. You could be going through a change or challenging times, challenging changes or whatever that is for you, but needing to stay strong and courageous through that because you do have happy outcome on the other end of whatever change or uh, challenge you're going through Taurus so let's see what how that plays in that may just be an opening message for some but we'll see what is going on now so let's get an opening message for you Taurus opening message wow okay so we have the salmon here which is 14 which is five and there there is the challenge and the change so let me just see, that is um, water energy. So salmon, let me just read a few um, snippets here. Magic, intuition, and wisdom. So needing to listen to your intuition. Um, also, wisdom, gaining wisdom, um, it, it's seeking out wisdom from others. And magic could be magical times up ahead, you know, beyond this challenge or change for some of you that makes sense you're going through, you know, being all the wiser for whatever situation you're in also. And, you know, water is fluid. It's healing. It's emotions. It's feelings. So let's see. You know, I didn't quite ask yet. So let's see for, I don't like to take the card until I've asked. Spirit, please. What is the current energy of Taurus, collective, someone rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the collective, please? What is Taurus's energy right now? What do they need to know? What is their energy like, please, for Taurus? Thank you so much. I'm just going to take the top one. All right. Oh, well, we got the snake again. So that did come out. So spirit's like, 
Yeah, that was the card you were supposed to take. It did fall out, and I put it back. <sighs> okay, so we have Snake here, which is Earth Energy, which is 10. Tens are about endings, completions, but then there's always a new beginning. So, you know, and I know you think of snake, you think of snake in the grass, you know, deceit and, you know, someone that, you, something that, someone or something that you can't trust. But I think the snake has a different meaning. I think it's about shedding the old. So let's see uh, what the snake has to say. Worldliness, duality, and desire. So... So there could be some sort of temptation, desire, um, duality. So, I don't know, we'll see how that plays into your reading. And on the bottom here, we have Firebird, which is 35, which is 8, which is about taking action, travel, movement. So let's see what the Firebird has to say. You may be... Going through a change or a challenge and something may be tempting to you. Um, let's, see, let's see what the firebird has to say. Hope and magic. So that's twice we have magic. Brilliance, divine protection. So if there's something, something may like trip you up in your path. Like if you're going through a challenge or a change um, or a transformation or something here. Something may come along your path, like a snake in your path, may try to trip you up, may try to, uh, I don't know, lure you, or may be tempting, or something like that. But this firebird, I think, is telling you here to remain optimistic, to have more positive energy, to try to overlook whatever, you know, temptation or snake. Something may come in and try to veer you off your path that you're meant to be on through this change. That could lead to very happy, happy outcome in the end. Um, but you're going to need to be strong, courageous, and brave to overlook whatever temptation or like snake in the grass or obstacle that comes in. You may think it may, you know, look tempting. It may look good. It may look like something. You, you may go, oh, maybe I'll go in that direction or I'll um, try this out instead. But I think it's just something could be like a test from the universe put in your path to see if you go for this temptation. Because we have magic here twice. So it's trusting your intuition. And, you know, if something doesn't feel right, you know, with something that comes in here, then, you know, trust that. Trust that. And the firebird, you know, is about fire. That is about passion. As with the Leo energy there, it's a very passionate energy. It's about, you know... Being strong, courageous, and brave. Being a go-getter kind of energy also. Yeah, so brilliance, hope, and magic. So, you know, brilliance, you know, you are smart enough. If this snake in the grass here looks like something that, you know, too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> so something here, you know, if you're on a path now through a change, a transition, and you're working on something, you know, Maybe there's been an ending and you're working on a new beginning and you have your set, your goals in one direction. But something I think is going to come up here to try to veer you off your path. And like I said, it could just be like a test from the universe to see if you'll stray from the path you or goals you set for yourself. It's kind of what I'm getting. So stay smart, wise, you know, because we have wisdom and brilliance. So stay smart, wise, listen to your intuition. And um, if it seems like it's too good to be true, then it probably is. So however that means for you. All right. So let's clarify this energy for you, Taurus. Let's clarify this energy for you, Taurus. Oh, oh my God. I can't make this up. Strength again. Leo coming out again. And the Three of Pentacles. So Pentacles, work, career, finance. So... Yeah, this is telling you to be strong, courageous, brave, determined. Whatever path you're working on here, to stay dedicated to that path. Whether you're, you know, learning something new or you're working on a new direction in your life. Don't let something or, you know, come in to trip you up or something, you know, let something come in from the past that maybe ended to come back in to trip you off, up and uh, bear you off your path. Um, I think you know better. All right, so let's get more energy 
here. The Tower and the Empress. Yeah. And I, wow. So <laughs> the Tower is uh, Aries here, or it could be Scorpio. But yeah, whatever path you're working on here that you, know, you need to stay diligent and focused on. Again, Tower here, something or someone, it could be a new energy. It could be something, you know, that is just um, like throws a monkey wrench in on something unexpected happens here with the Aries energy here kind of throws you off your beaten path, you know, and it doesn't have to be like a, a person. It could be like a situation arises um, that kind of throws you off for a loop, throws you off your path. And you're like, well, you know what, now that this is happening and then I guess I'll have to put whatever, where, whatever I'm working on here, will have to fall to the wayside and I'll just have to concentrate on this, whatever came in. But we do have the Empress here, which is, you know, Emperor Empress energy here is knowing your value and your worth putting, I mean, for some of you, you could be all of a sudden you're expecting unexpectedly because there is a, a pregnant woman here, which kind of throws a monkey wrench into your plans. Uh, could be that if not, you know, this is the birth of something new, the birth on a new path, the birth of something new in your life, going on a new journey, knowing your value and worth and, you know, sitting in your emperor empress energy and knowing, you know, this is what I'm doing. I know what I want to do, exactly what I want to do. But something, some kind of monkey wrench is going to be thrown in here. Some kind of tower moment, a surprise, epiphany, a shock, a revelation, or something here, which is going to try to throw you off your path. And that's what I felt. So the empress there, we do have Libra and Taurus. So I'm, I'm getting to stay focused on your path. Whatever comes your way, whatever monkey wrench situation tries to, could be just like I said, a test from the universe or something here. Don't stray from your path. Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy here. It's about positive movement forward to stay balanced. This is, you know, being successful, victorious, positive movement forward. Um, balancing that energy, drive, ambition, and victory. You know, there is victory on the other side of this. To stay focused on that path that you're making positive movement for uh, towards. Positive movement forward. All right. What else? The Emperor. I can't make this up. Now we have the Emperor, which is Aries. The Empress and the Emperor. So this is double confirmation. If you're male or you're female watching this, this message is for whoever's watching this. To stay focused on the path that you're on. To better yourself. To be, you know, in control of your life. To go on this new path that you're taking. Don't let a tower moment give you any doubt, fear, or veer you off your, veer you off your path. And then let it go to the wayside. Stay diligent on the path that you're on, you're striving for. All right. Whatever that means for you could be anything. But wow, a lot of majors here. Strength, the tower, the empress, the chariot, and the emperor. We have five out of six, which are major. So this is something major for some of you. Wow. Wow. Don't let a tower moment stay strong. Don't let it ruin your path All right so let's get whatever that is for you this is a general collective reading so let's get let's see four cups of energy let's get see if we can get your situation so feeling kind of bored and stagnant queen of cups energy here which could be um cancer again so i mean you could have these signs in your chart or it could be energy of people around you, but the Queen of Cups here, very loving, caring, nurturing, giving, listening to your intuition. Ace of Swords here. Brand new beginning, success, victory, clarity, having truth, clarity. Um, cutting away things, not serving. Standing up, not backing down. This is my divine clarity card too from the universe, from source, saying see this with truth and clarity to stay on your path and in a space of love, compassion, peace, harmony. Don't fall back. You know, if a tower moment comes in here, attach to the four of cups, don't let it, um, let you get back into that energy of not being happy where you are. All right. So let's get a few more for your situation. The hermit. So you may withdraw again, Virgo. 
energy here. So this is the energy of like withdrawing, really thinking about things here now. So you may, you know, withdraw and say, you know, maybe, maybe I can't go on because of whatever arose here, whatever tower moment happened, death. So this is about Scorpio energy here. We have so many majors here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. So, you know, Scorpio death here is about endings, something ending, but then transforming, transitioning, letting something go end that needs to end. So I'm, I'm getting a feeling here that, you know, whatever this tower moment comes in that puts something in your path that disrupts you, you may, you may, you know, say, well, okay, I guess that's the end of that. I guess I can't do that now. That's what the death energy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm only drinking water. Honest. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see what this death is. Let's clarify this death energy. The magician. Yeah. So you're manifesting something. We have so many majors here. This is just ridiculous. So the magician, Gemini Virgo energy. So <laughs> this is man you're in the process for some of you of manifesting a new path a new way of life something new in your life transforming but whatever this is that comes in and disrupts you that gets you off your path here my stomach's growling hope you can't hear that sorry um you may think okay i i, I can't do this i can't do what i plan i can't i have to stop now because of this monkey wrench this tower moment but the magician here is saying no keep on manifesting don't let don't let your dreams come to an end don't end this you know you may need to think about it so how can i do this now how can i work around this situation that comes in but there is a way the magician here is saying you have all the tools and resources there's always a way not to give up the high priestess oh my gosh so i can't believe all the majors here so again, uh, Pisces energy here, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing the secret is here. The secret is here. If this is a secret that comes in and ruins something here, but I don't know, but the high priestess there, listen to your gut, your intuition. Um, what else? The three of swords. Yeah. A little bit of heartache. So I feel like whatever if there's an ending or if there's an actual death or if there's um, something painful, hurtful here. Um, if, if it is something that comes in, if it's a death of a loved one, I'm sorry if that happened and you're like, okay, this really puts me in an energy where I just can't go on. The high priestess here is like that spiritual energy. I think they're here to say, no, you know, I want you to keep going on. Don't let this interfere with you moving forward. So that may be a message for some. This person wants you to keep going. Don't stop. For some, whatever heartbreaking situation happened, if it's not that, if it's something else that causes a lot of pain, um, the universe still wants you to keep moving forward, no matter what this tower is, whatever it is for you. The universe, Ace of Swords, keep moving. Don't stop. So let's see what your advice is. Oh my gosh, we got the sun again. Your advice is here with the sun. Total happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, massive healing, happy home and family, po most positive. You will have sun at the end of all this energy. Even though you don't feel it right now, you may feel sad, lonely, hurt. When this tower comes in, in an energy where I just can't go on, I just can't go, keep moving forward in whatever I'm doing here. The sun is here. Keep going, keep going. You know, it's hard. Page of coins here. So this could be an offer uh, coming in. Something stable, secure. It could be um, somebody offering financial aid, somebody offering uh, a loan, money, um, help, just help in general. It's stable, secure, it's grounded, something you can trust. Somebody may see you going through a hard time and know you were setting out on this path to change your life or do something here. And they see you now with this tower moment comes in and they see you struggling and they may come in, offer some sort of help to you. And I think you could trust this. It's very secure. 
it's sincere so i think you could trust that whatever that is for you if it's money if it's advice guidance or just helping you know in some way shape or form somebody may reach out really may want to help you or this is telling you don't be afraid to reach out to others either for support guidance help aid whatever you need justice so getting justice receiving justice if this is something in the uh justice department or something here that interferes here but the balance scales will be balanced of the truth clarity justice will prevail and this is the stable secure either money coming in or help guidance or learning something new somebody wanting to help you you know in some way shape or form but you will get justice here libra energy here wow so many majors here i think justice will be prevail for you in the end whatever tower moment that was happen or whatever here wow okay so believe in the magic believe in your intuition don't let this snake in your path get in the way because we do have this brilliance and this hope and this faith and this fire passionate energy let's see is the sun twice well the sun but leo does represent the sun and strength so that is leo could be you just need to take on this Leo energy. So let's see, see what your uh, outcome will be. So the five of wands. So this could be competition, um, challenges, kind of energy. Seven of cups, options, illusions, daydreaming kind of energy, uh, choices, decisions. You may be conflicted about this decision to you know keep moving on. Or you may see whatever that other tempting thing is or whatever monkey wrench or tower moment. Queen of Wands. So there you go. There's a fire energy again. Queen of Wands. Which could be Aries, but it could be any fire sign. So even though there may be, you know, outcome here, conflict, competition, struggle, inner conflict, not sure, with the Seven of Cups energy, options, you know, decisions to be made, I think... You'll embody this Queen of Wands energy as with like the Emperor kind of energy and make these decisions and get over this conflict or rise above this conflict, whether a, like it's outer conflict, inner conflict or competition, rising above the competition and making the right choices and decisions for yourself moving forward. Being in that fiery, passionate energy. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Page of Wands. So this is good news coming in. So this is more help could be something involving children because we have two pages here but um good news coming in some sort of good news coming in so again it could be people reaching out to help or just finally getting some sort of good news about the whole situation maybe that you've been waiting for patiently waiting you know so either waiting to move on in your journey or you know assessing evaluating should i keep moving on should i not so it's kind of Kind of being still there and patient but king of swords gemini energy here is having mental clarity again it's my divine um clarity intervention truth clarity standing up not backing down uh seeing it like it is telling it like it is cutting what's no longer serving you here and the king of wands so i mean this could be legal advice to a legal advisor consultant or something in that field but King of Wands energy, again, somebody fiery, passionate. King of Queen of Wands we have here. So, yeah, fiery, passionate energy, being that go-getter, determined. You know, being indecisive for a time here, not seeing clearly, but letting chapters close to start new chapters with the world energy. And this can be, um, the world is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So we do have the Three of Cups in reverse here. But I'm not going to take that. I think the world here is about, um, you know, ending cycles, starting new cycles, being indecisive. But King or Queen's here, getting in that fiery energy, seeing with truth and clarity after a period of waiting and assessing and could have some help or good news coming in on a situation or on this situation, however this resonates for you. Wow, so a lot of energy here. So... I feel like you're on the right path, you're working on something, you're making change, you're transforming, you're transcending, 
um, moving forward in a whole new direction in life and some sort of tower moment comes in to test you or uh, disrupt you and you kind of start to slip back into your old patterns, your own way, old way of life, your old way of doing things or whatever here. But the universe or past over loved ones here want you to know, don't let this tower moment or snake in your path disrupt you from uh, where you're going to keep going. And if, even though it may seem hard and that you can't, you know, if you need to take time, take some time to heal, to do whatever you need to do, but jump right back on that horse and uh, stop moving forward again. All right, so, oh, Taurus, all right. Leave me some comments. What's going on in your world? How this makes sense for you? So let's get some extra messages for you. Put others first. So you have 43 here, which is seven, which is divinely guided spiritual energy. But I feel like this tower moment is going to come in and put you in a situation where you have to put, put it first before whatever you're doing here, which throws that monkey wrench in and puts a real damper on your path of what you're doing. It kind of puts everything on hold. But if it does, and if it's something you have to deal with, whatever it may be, it's saying, you know, once that tower moment passes to keep going on your journey. Yes, yeah, seek an expert. So that could be that King of Swords energy that we've seen. Could be a legal counselor, advisor, or something here. But seek an expert. Seven again, divinely guided spiritual energy. That's twice with seven. One more, one more. Just sing. <laughs> Four, okay about stability so this is i guess about you know staying in a high vibration you know being positive hopeful optimistic being cheerful you know don't let it get you down even though you may feel in that five of cups of energy with sad loss hurt or loneliness especially three swords can be deep emotional pain to try to raise your vibration and be uh in that higher energy and blow off some steam 60 which is six which is about healing and balance so if you need to blow off steam, if you need to scream, if you need to punch your pillow, whatever you need to do, get out, have some fun in some way, shape, or form. I know we can't really do that right now, but uh, blow off some steam may also help. Wow. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. So best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, my channel is to always, always shine your light.